Good morning. Good Saturday morning. How are y'all? It's been a while, and I'm not going to go there. That's all I'm going to say is it's been a while because I go there every single time. I know. It's been a long while. But it is Saturday morning, and as you can tell, I'm coming to y'all raw with the Saturday morning look this morning. And we're going to talk about we're going to talk about hair, we're going to talk about jewelry. We're just going to chat this morning. I was standing here in my kitchen. I've been eating my breakfast. I'm eating cream of wheat. I love this stuff. I've been eating this since I was a child. Um, so it's not just a baby food or children food. It's an adult food too. I absolutely love this stuff. I love oatmeal. I eat oatmeal. Um, love it. But I've been eating this since I was a kid and I just love it. I never stopped loving it. Um, this is the variety pack. I buy the little packets. Um, the individual packets that you can fix. And it has the original flavor, which I love. That's what I ate as a kid. You know, back then they didn't have these variety packs with the different flavors. Um, my mom bought the box, box or a can or something that had the cream of wheat in it. And she cooked it on the stove, kind of like grits, um, put some salt in it. I've always loved it with salt. Um, but now they have the flavors. They've got cinnamon and maple brown sugar. And those are the two flavors that I love. So I'm trying to empty this box because the best by date was last month. So I'm trying to get this empty because one of my quirks, I do not eat foods past the expiration date. Canned foods, boxed foods, especially refrigerated and frozen foods, um, but even if it says Best Buy, and that drives my husband nuts because he's like, it says Best Buy. That just means the quality and the freshness is best by that date. It doesn't mean that you can't eat it past that date. But that's just one of my little quirks. I don't eat it past the expiration date. So, um, but I am eating this, even though the best buy date was last month. I'm, I'm finishing this box out. So, but yeah, I'm just all raw this morning. That's why I'm close up. I'm still in my lounge clothes. Got on my Top Gun t-shirt this morning. Um, but y'all, speaking of hair, I washed my hair last night. Y'all, it looks dirty. It feels dirty. And I think it's because I put conditioner on it last night. And I don't use, I don't do conditioner that much. Um, because to my hair's gotten so thin since I've gotten older. And I just feel like it thins it out and it doesn't give it any life or volume. Um, I used to condition my hair once a week, and I kind of got out of that habit, and I haven't put conditioner on it in a while. Um, but I washed my hair last night, and it was, you know, later in the evening, like after 7. So I figured I'll just put some conditioner on it tonight since I won't be washing it till later the next day, which is today. So... But, ugh, ugh, like I cannot wait to get back in the shower and wash my hair and dry it. I let it air dry. I did not dry it with a dryer, so that that's probably why. And then sleeping on it. So I guess that's why it feels dirty this morning. And it's not dirty, it's clean. I just washed it. Um, And even my, I've got some of this right here because I just bought some at the store and it was still sitting on my kitchen counter um but i've showed y'all this before when i've hauled it the l'oreal this is the replumping serum but i also use this um i don't it's lv i don't know how you pronounce that but i use this shampoo and conditioner and then i love this replumping serum and i use it as a dry shampoo process even though this is not dry shampoo 
I do put this on after I wash my hair before I dry it to help give it a little volume. But I also tried this, like if I didn't want to wash my hair in the morning, I would spray, I spray this stuff on my hair and it does make it wet. It's not dry, um, but you can put it on dry hair. So I spray this on my dry hair, which makes my hair wet. And then I get my dryer. I use one of the Revlon brush dryers. And then I get my dryer and brush it and dry it out. And it works like a dry shampoo. It makes my it gives my hair life um, and doesn't make it as greasy after I've slept on it. Um, so I absolutely love this stuff. But I'm even thinking this morning that this wouldn't work. I just, I've got to wash my hair again and, and dry it like I normally do. So, yeah. Looks a little unclean this morning, but I promise it's not. It's, my hair is very clean. So, speaking of clean, I just opened my box this morning. I placed my first order with um, Grove, Collab Grove, not Grove. Um, Grove Collaborative Company or whatever it's called. Have y'all ever ordered from them? It has all these, you can order all different kinds of cleaning products and wellness products. Um, and the reason I ordered off there is I was trying to find some of this um, Mrs. Myers soap. And y'all may use this because they sell it at Walmart. I've never bought any. I don't know if it's because it's too expensive. I can't remember what the price on it is at Walmart. But for some reason, I've just never bought this stuff. You know, but I know everybody has it. A lot of people use the cleaning products, the soap, all the things. But I never have. But I was at my dad's last weekend and my stepmom had some of this soap in her guest bathroom and so I went to the bathroom I was washing my hands and when I smelled this oh my word it smelled heavenly and I was like I've got to have some of this um, and this scent is I'm gonna see if it'll focus there it goes oh there it is basil scent this is the basil scent. Anyway, y'all, this stuff smells so good. And of course they don't, they didn't have it at one my Walmart. Um, so, and my stepmom, she said, I haven't been able to find any more of it at Walmart. So I went online searching and I actually went to the Mrs. Myers website. And they had it on their website, you could order good price, whatever. So I was getting ready to order it. I was getting ready to check out. The shipping cost, y'all, was so much more than what I was paying for the product. And I don't do that. If the shipping is more than the product, uh-uh. I'm not having that. Because I don't know if I had, I may have had two bottles in my cart. They were like, I don't know, just say like $5.99 each. They might have been. I don't know. Um, but five ninety nine. So that would no, it had to have been less than that because the shipping let's just say the two bottles together was around ten dollars or something. The shipping was thirteen ninety nine. More than what I was spending on the product and I said, I'm I'm sorry, I'm just not paying that for shipping. I'm not so my sister was there and she told me to check on some other websites and um and to see if you could get shipping codes free shipping codes so i did that and it led me to grove collaborative website and i got a free shipping code and grove collaborative gave me a free gift for anything i spent over 29 dollars so y'all i bought six bottles of this stuff they have like a three pack for so much and I bought two packs of those so I got six bottles of this 
and it, it was not that much at all. And then I got the free gift along with it. And I didn't, the box is still, I could go get it. Actually, let me show y'all what they gave me. And y'all, just don't even, don't even mind all that. Our dishwasher is broken, and so we are hand washing all of our dishes right now. Have been for months. Our dishwasher's been broken for months. We just haven't gotten a new one. So, those are clean dishes we just washed. So, anyway, my sink either has dirty dishes in it or the rack has clean dishes in it. So, at least you're seeing, well, there are some dirty ones still in there, but... It's okay. We live here. Don't mind the mess. We live here. But my our fr my free gift was this pack of sponges. Walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge. So, made from ground walnut shells. Recycled fibers and plant-based cellulose. Okay. We'll go with that, I guess. So I got those sponges and for free, and they also sent me this cleaning bottle, re reusable cleaning bottle for free. So that was my free gift <clears throat> for spending $29. And I haven't even opened it. Wow. This is a good bottle, too. It's glass. It says tub and tile. That's a good little cleaning bottle. I don't know. I may I may try to order more products from them. I don't know. Do y'all have y'all ordered from them? Do y'all use their products? It's evidently like a wellness thing, so I'm sure all their products are safe and clean and all that good stuff. But it don't matter. I got my soap. Y'all, I wish you could smell this. There, I can't describe it. And it doesn't even smell like basil to me. Oh, I can't describe it. It just smells so, so good. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love that scent. Love it. And do y'all use Mrs. Myers? It, you, tell me what scents you like um, in the soap. I know there's different kinds. I'm really picky when it comes to scents, so, um, but y'all, I can't get over this. It smells so good. Like, I just want to go wash my hands right now. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I was sitting here too. I was cl kind of cleaning up the counter. I had some paparazzi jewelry that I had ordered over the past couple weeks, and I was opening them, and I got all these different kinds of bracelets, um, very, very cute bracelets. So let's talk about bracelets for a minute. Let me open these real quick because I know the paper. I love the sound of rustling paper like that. But I know some don't, so I don't want to get on your nerves. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. I had to get all of those open so it wouldn't get on your nerves. But anyway, there's three types of bracelets I like. I love a good stretch bracelet, depending on how it fits. I absolutely love a coil bracelet. And then there's another style. It's called a flexi cuff that I like. Now, stretch bracelets, they... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I love stretch bracelets if they fit. I don't think I have a large wrist. I think I have a regular size wrist, maybe a medium size wrist. So some stretch bracelets are a little tight on me and some are not. It just depends on how it's made, how much stretch there is to it. You know what I mean? Um, let me show, and all this is paparazzi. And we, we've talked about paparazzi before. Um, I have two ladies. I have two paparazzi ladies that I order from. One is Brooke from Arkansas, 
and I've been ordering her for ordering from her for probably over two years. And then my friend Suzanne, Suzanne Light, y'all all know her. Y'all are on her channel, I hope, on both of her channels. Well, she started selling it too. She started selling under Brooke. So, um, so I started buying from Suzanne too, because gotta support my friends, right? So I still order from Brooke, and I also order from Suzanne because the thing about paparazzi is the different con the consultants they don't all buy the same thing; they buy different jewelry. So between Brooke and Suzanne, they both they may have pieces the other doesn't have. So I watch both of them, and I order from both of them. So anyway, and I will link Suzanne's Facebook page in the description. So, y'all can check it out. Which I'm sure y'all already have, because I know Marsha shows all her stuff all the time. So, but I'm still going to link, just in case. But anyway, I'm rambling. Back to the bracelets. Here's a stretch bracelet that I got recently. Isn't it pretty? It's got white stones in it and iridescent stones. Now, this is a stretch bracelet, and it fits pretty good. It, it's not tight fitting. I love that bracelet. It's very, very comfortable on my wrist. So I love that one. And here's another one. Y'all, this one is so pretty too. Look at this. The blues, the iridescent blue, white rhinestones. I love that. This is a little more snug than the other one. But still a good fit. Love it, love it, love it. Now, here are some red stretchies. Some of the stretchies come in three, like three to a pack. So sometimes I just wear one. Now, when it comes to wearing three stretchies at one time like this, that's where they get a little tight on my wrist. Like that one's okay. It's snug. So, but they're, you know, they stay there because you can tell they're, fits like a glove. But aren't those pretty? All those red stones. Now, I purchased these recently, so y'all could probably get, get you some of these. I love those. It's a little, a little snug. I don't know if I'll wear all three of them at the same time, or two, or just one. We will see. And then I got one more stretch that I'll show y'all. Then we'll move on to the coil. These are pretty too. And the same thing, but y'all look at these. Aren't those pretty? Now these are all different, so you really need to wear all these at the same time. So it's, it's pretty comfortable. It's a... So like I said, I don't know, I guess I have a medium wrist. I really don't consider it a, a large wrist, but there's those. So I do love stretchies. However, coil is by far my favorite because you never know if stretchies are gonna be too snug or whatever. I can't wear bangle bracelets I have the wrist for a bangle bracelets, but my hand is wide right there. And so I can't get the bangle bracelets over my hand. Haven't been able to do that. So I don't wear bangles. But what I like about a coil bracelet is it looks like you have on bangles and you don't. And coils just fit, I mean, look, they just fit so loose, so nice. And it looks like you have on bangles, or it looks like you have on stretchies. This may look like stretch bracelets, but it's a coil, and it fits perfectly on any size wrist. So, coils are my favorite. And I have one more coil. I already tried this one on. This is, well, this is like silver pretty stones. Isn't that pretty? It's a little twisted. Hold on. 
Sometimes the coils do get twisted around. Ugh! Let me see if I can. Okay. There we go. Well. Hold on, y'all. This coil is not cooperating. Okay, I think I got it. Maybe. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I got it. This coil, when I put it on, I thought, oh, this is so loose. I've never had a coil bracelet fit this loose before. Um, but then I put it on, and I was like, I kind of like it. I've never had a coil do that. I mean, look how far down it goes on my arm. So I was like, I don't know if it's been stretched out um, or what because it's so loose. But then I thought, I kind of like it because one of the purposes for a coil is to look like you have on bangles. And bangles are loose and flowy and they separate. So it looks like I have on bangles but I don't. So I really kind of like it the way it fits like that loose on me because it looks like bangles. But anyway, like I said, I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if it's just stretched out. I may try, I think Suzanne has some of these. So I may try on another one and um, see if, if they all fit like that. But those are just some of the brace. Oh, Flexi cuff. We didn't talk about a flexi cuff. I love a flexi cuff because to me it's just so delicate looking. And I've been getting into the more delicate jewelry here lately, not the big chunky stuff. Um, I've been wearing smaller earrings. And so I love a flexi cuff because, again, it looks like a bangle, but it opens to where it'll fit any wrist. And it just kind of meets right there. And it just looks like you have on a little bangle bracelet. That is pink pearls. Now, I'm not a pearl girl. <laughs> um, I don't wear pearls, but I do. I love that bracelet. It's got little rhinestones and pink pearls on it. And I just love it. And I am, I am going to wear this bracelet to church tomorrow because um, I have a shirt that I'm wearing that that will match perfectly with. So I will be wearing those tomorrow. But those are just some of the bracelets that I've gotten lately and I just wanted to share them with y'all. I did get a couple of cute pair of earrings. These I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna try them on. They may be, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. And they're acrylic, they're plastic. Um, and it's like iridescent, which I love iridescent stuff, but it's iridescent acrylic. And I just thought they were super cute, but I don't know if they're going to be too long for me. Let's try on and see. Let's try on these cute earrings with my dirty looking hair. <laughs> That'll go over well, won't it? Let's see. But I, I don't know. I usually don't wear earrings that long. But I don't know. Y'all, my hair. I can't believe I'm videoing today. My first video back after a couple of months. and But, you know, it's okay. Like I said, it's Saturday morning. And this is who I am right now. They're very cute. I'll have to see if I have what I have to wear. It's, I don't, see, I don't like the earrings coming down that far and touching my shoulder. I don't mind if they, they're a little bit long. Like, actually, that's the perfect length for me. That's about as long as I would go if it came that far. But I just, I don't know. What do y'all think? They're so beautiful. They're so cute. I absolutely love them. Um, I just, and they're so light. Like if it wasn't touching my shoulder, I wouldn't be able to tell I had earrings on because they're that light. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may wear them. Who knows? I love them though. I just, 
I don't like it touching my shoulder like that. And it's not just my shoulder, it's touching my, my clavicle bone right there. So I don't know. Do y'all like them? We'll see. I'll see. If not, I'll just put them in my, I have a large bag of jewelry that I need to get rid of and I want to sell. So these may have to go in that pile. I don't know, I just love them. If they were that long right there, even if they, they were those, I wonder if I could, I could take this part off and just wear these two. I might do that. I mean, it, it would have a little bit of silver hanging out of the end. I don't know. What do y'all think? Tell me what to do. I just don't know if I could get past it hitting my shoulder like that. But I could take those off and just have those top two shapes. Those would be super cute. I may do that. Anyway, the next pair of earrings I got, these are cute. Hold on. They're stuck on the card. I got those. I thought they were super cute. It's got green and pink and blue and white. And I have several solid shirts that I could wear with those. I just thought they were cute and unique and different. So I had to get it. So anyway, I'm going to clean up all this stuff, get all this jewelry put away, get my new soap out on the sink and use it. I'm gonna get my breakfast stuff put away, gonna put away some clean dishes, wash what little bits in the sink. And then I don't know what else we're doing today. I know we're going to a singing tonight with Eric's mom. Um, spend some time with her. We don't get to spend a lot of time with her and she has dementia. So he's trying to do as much with her as he can. Just, you know, because when somebody has dementia, you, you don't know, you don't know how much time they have left. So, um, while she's still doing okay, still knows who we are, things like that, um, he's trying to do as much with her as she wants to do and can do. So, um, he, he, they've always liked to go, they like Southern gospel music, so they've always gone to singings and things like that together over the years, and so she still likes to go, and, um, one of their favorite groups who we're friends with, um, they're singing in the town that Eric grew up in, so, uh, they were going to go tonight, so Garrett and I are going to go with them, because she wants us to go too, and she wants us to have that time as family, so we're going to do that with her, so I know we're doing that tonight, don't know what we're doing the rest of the day, I do have more laundry to do, I did a lot of laundry yesterday, yesterday was my lazy day at home, I did not get out of the house at all, I did laundry all day, I washed and folded and all the things. So, I do have a little more to do today as well. So anyway, I'm rambling. It's been a really long time, so I guess I just wanted to talk to y'all this morning. Um, and we'll just see where it goes. We'll see when I feel like getting on again. So. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.